welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you are meant to find this. This is a general reading. This is for any and all signs. If the title brought you in, more than likely there is a message here for you. I would like to thank our uh, spirit guides. That would be Angels Galactic Council, uh, Ancestors, Past Loved Ones, Source God, the Almighty, the Most High Holy Spirit, into the three. Thank you for the cards and the words to deliver the message that is meant to be heard today and for anyone in the future. Again, thank you for joining me. I would like to welcome a big, great, loving welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you for checking out my channel. When you support this channel, please know that you are supporting an autism family, mine. And for that, I thank you. All right, let's see what spirit wants to let us know today. Let's see what energies are needing to come out. What does the universe need for us to know to carry out whatever it is needs to be carried out today? Everything's purposeful. I'm not gonna freestyle it today. Just gonna see what comes out. I have uh, one oracle deck, a couple of tarot, a few tarot decks, and one oracle deck here. I usually start off with three cards, but let's see. All right, we got one here. We're gonna come out. Let's see what it is. This is the most important card, right? It's the six of cups. It's, oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh, it's so cute. Anyone want to fill that up with gold or, uh, you know, whatever, any type of mineral? I'm down. I'm so down. All right. <laughs> Six of Cups. So this is a card of nostalgia. This is love. This is, um, you know, thinking back in the day. This is loving feelings from back in the day back in the day when i was young i'm not a kid anymore but someday i sit and wish i was a kid again nope <laughs> anyways um so yeah let's see what else is going on here looking back all right does this have to do with somebody yeah <coughs> Woo! god bless me excuse me thank you all right so yeah, this does have to do with um, with someone, okay? Someone, I have to say it's someone from your past or someone that you just met, but highly unlikely because if you just met this person, this is like instant soul recognition, which doesn't really happen that often, okay? Um, so also what I'm noticing in this card is that there's a lot of butterflies, there's sailboats, there's birds. So this indicates a lot of movement, this indicates change, and this indicates conversation. Oh, shit. All right. This card also keeps dropping on the floor, which is also a sign everything's purposeful. So there is a, um, a feeling of being intimidated. Avoidance. Not being ready. Something of that sort. All right. So let's keep going. Ugh. I don't want to pick up any more cards on the floor, please, Spirit. What else we got here? We got three more cards. We're going to put this deck down. That's good for now. I really do like this deck. All right, we have the Nine of Wands. Good stuff. We have the Four of Wands. Excellent. And we have the Strength card in reverse. All right. Someone's picking up. Someone's feeling like they are giving up. And you know what? Before I even started this read, I do feel a sense of sadness, de desperation, um, not this feeling of not being heard, a lot of desperation. I'm feeling a lot of desperation out there. Um, like last chance type of energy. Um, I don't know. I'm just feeling a lot of like faking it to make it. I'm feeling a lot of hiding true feelings. Um, there's a lot of fake ass conversations and dealings going on right now. People just do not want to um, come face to face with, uh, with themselves. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. All right, so let's move on. 
going to the psychic tarot. See what's going on with this. So, Six of Cups, Nine of Wands, Four of Wands, Strength card in Reverse. There's a lot of fire here, so you could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. Alright, I'm not taking any of these cards. They'll come out again. The drop was too many and it was just too sloppy. Too sloppy. All right. Alright. Alright. I just I really do hope everyone's having a good moment. I hope when you at least watch my video that know that I'm standing in my authenticity every day for all y'all and that I'm very grateful for life uh, even in the most um, challenging of times um, I'm very grateful for every breath every moment of this uh, existence I truly am and I hope that you are able to embrace that that energy all right so looking at oh shit we got triumph here underneath the six of cups so somebody might not be feeling it right now might be wanting to give up but spirit is clearly stating right off the bat there's going to be some type of success here and it's because you didn't give up look at that red flag passion passion moving forward drive all right this is clarifying the six of cups What else? Number seven. Something significant might be happening tomorrow. What's going on with this? Nine of cups. I'm sorry, nine of wands. And it is shadow doing some shadow work nine of wands this is number 18 nine another nine creeping up to 10 which is a number of completion and um you know moving on to the next chapter completing a cycle um the nine of wands on its own carries the energy of not giving up feeling like you're going to um you know, collapse over perhaps, and then getting back up, realizing why you're doing this and knowing that, you know, there's no way you're not giving up. Nine of Wands, it's your second wind. The meeting of the minds, the black and white, your dark side, your light side, working together to create what? Truth. Now, is truth negative or positive? Truth is always positive. Always. I don't care how fucking ugly the truth is. The truth is always considered a positive. Because there's nothing more pure than the truth. And there's so many ways it could be the truth can be deviated from, right? So finding the truth in yourself between the layers of shadow and light. Number four, I'm sorry, the third card, the four of wands. So the four of wands is that of security, stability, okay, the four also has to do with family it does uh, relate to it can be seen as one of the cards that represent marriage or it's just a stable family unit so 
just let's clarify that one. Okay, don't worry, we're gonna get messy in here. This starts off. Heartache and loss in reverse. It was in reverse. Heartache and loss. Wow. Okay. See what else? The strength card in reverse. Look at this. Number eight. Power. Wow. Super internal struggle. Lots of black and white energy. Look at this. So, Collective, you want to see success in this connection, but you're losing faith. And this message is to let you know to not lose faith. To get your second wind and keep fighting for this because you're going to be triumphant in the end. All right. Do you have a lot of shadow work to do? Do you still need to sort through some things within your own psyche for you to be successful? Yes. Are you going to have to release um, a lot of these feelings of loss and heartache before you are able to truly give and appreciate and sustain um a loving connection yes all right so let's let's just get more let me just ask some questions here um spirit who is this six of cups who is the six of cups please this could be a pisces okay not necessarily but this is someone who is highly intuitive Um, this is somebody that changes things up all the time. This is someone that you don't really trust. This is someone that you need to be careful of. This is how you feel. This is someone that you're doubting. This is someone that you see as cruel. Damn, collective. What else? Spirit says there's a triumph here. What's going on with this triumph card, please, Spirit? Tell me what's going on with this triumph card. What's the triumph here? What's the triumph here? Could be dealing with a. Aquarius as well. You could be seeing 999 is very significant in your reading. Um, so this is the Ace of Swords. This is the truth. Although you see this person as cruel and able to change um, metamorphosis, who you know they are, where they're going, they're able to make uh, quick changes. They're able to... God, that's the fucking word I'm looking for. They can just switch things up like this and not, and not, and they won't be phased. Um, that's very intimidating to you. Okay. You want triumph. You want, you want the love of this person, but you are very intimidated by them at the same time. Spirit is saying what I'm saying is true. Right next to the triumph card, we have the ace of swords. Okay. And this is just letting me know that what I'm saying is truth. What's going on with this Nine of Wands spirit? Give me more on the Nine of Wands, please. What is it? About the Nine of Wands. Okay, we have some moon energy here. Um, you might be feeling weighed down because or getting a second wind. Um, what is it about that? I'm going to clarify that next one, but, um, five might be significant. You know, bottom line is this, there are jealous friends around you. There's jealous friends around you that are trying to beat you down with gossip, slander, and, um, you know, 
intriguing negative possibilities that are intriguing to you because it's easier to just give up than to um think think it all through and this is the moon energy so this is cancer more pisces energy we also have the page of wands here on the other side this indicates that someone might be receiving good news Uh, from someone that is younger than you. So, what's the good news about? What is the good news? Good news is coming. The hair font. Strong religious convictions, social program, social prominence. Okay, so on the other side is disappointment and a love affair. So we have a five of pentacles here. So I do feel third party energy, okay? There's two different types of energies here and there's decisions. We do have the two of pentacles over here and we do have the light and dark energy here. One person might have dark hair, the other person might have um, lighter hair. The lighter haired person might be younger just going by the cards here it does read blonde blue-eyed young man or girl good news okay and that's what this deck indicates as the page of wands shadow work guess what though the other side of this card is the moon so there's definitely some things hidden here and some changes that needed to be made and that's why you're getting your second win because you're not trusting the situation. And if you're not trusting the good, then you're definitely not trusting the, the bad, the negative that you're hearing because you're finding out that these people don't have your greatest good. And that takes shadow work. That takes admitting to yourself that, the, that people were blowing smoke up your ass, that you were manipulated. Um, I believe this younger person, um, possibly wanted to get married, possibly complaining that there wasn't enough money, but there's definitely a lot of lack. There wasn't enough to keep this connection anchored down. There's a lot of disappointments. A lot of promises, a lot of different disappointments, and a lot of difficulties when it came to finances and stability. I do feel like these two people had different ideas of what they wanted, etc., etc. What's going on with the shadow? Okay. The Four of Swords. Yeah, so somebody needs to sit down, do some shadow work and just figure out what's going on with them. Okay, Four of Swords indicates that this is God's hand sitting you down because you need to, you need to. You might be healing from your illness. It might just be that you're stressed and depressed because just your personal life is just really fucked and stressful. So I'm feeling a lot of hermit energy here. You might be just shutting the shutting the doors, shutting the windows, and um, doing a lot of self-reflection, spending time alone, sitting with your shadow self. Hmm. Four of Wands. What's going on with this Four of Wands? This is stability. This is marriage. Also, your person might be might have different beliefs or values than you. When it comes to the Four of Wands, we got the Queen of Swords. So the person you're thinking of or you, you could be feeling um, lonely. You might have been separated from this person. You might have 
Um, they might have separated from you. This person, you know, went through a lot of shit. Might have cut you off. You might have cut them off. Um, but you are not with them. It does indicate a dark-haired, brown-eyed woman. That doesn't necessarily have to be a course. Underneath that is what? Heartache and loss in reverse. And we have the Knight of Wands in reverse, a broken marriage, distrust, and jealousy. Yeah. So this is past energy, I'm feeling. This is wanting to heal. This is wanting to go back. Heartache and loss in reverse. Clarify that for me, please, Spirit. King of Swords. <laughs> Interesting, right? The Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. So this is a divine union, meaning they cannot get away from each other. It's very, very hard to disconnect, always thinking about each other. This is a soulmate. This is a soul contract. This is somebody who is thinking logically, so I know I really do feel like this is you, Collective. Trying to think logically in this situation. Trying to take everybody's position into consideration while you're trying to heal this heartache, this loss of this person. And we have the Page of Cups, yeah. You want to message them. You want to message them. You possibly have some news. Maybe you got someone pregnant and that didn't work out or you know that's what it says on this particular deck of cards i'm just you know that's not necessarily um, yeah, that's what it says on the card someone might want to give you good news that they you know that they are pregnant that they have a baby but maybe maybe they're not really happy about that i don't know maybe they are maybe they want to tell you that would be a strange thing to do to call up your ex and be like oh guess what i got someone else pregnant but i don't want them i want you that'd be weird huh yeah so maybe that's not what's happening but maybe it is who knows this is planet's a weird fucking place right okay we also have the knight of pentacles a lot of knight energy so yeah check it out new responsibilities this person doesn't know how to feel about this you don't know how to feel about this or your person somebody feels like they sacrificed themselves like they fucked themselves over oh, this person's having trouble making decisions here in regards to the situation because they're not with the person that they want they're losing hope and being happy. What they keep getting up. They keep getting up. We have the eight of wands. So the reason why they keep wanting to give up and say fuck it and throw in the tell is because there's a lot of family quarrels going on, a lot of petty fucking talk, a lot of jealousy and disagreements when it comes to this connection. And it's nobody's fucking business, so that's annoying. Yeah. They're afraid they're going to lose a close friend over this and get everybody upset with the Ten of Cups in reverse. But, collective, you have the power. You could be a Leo, but not necessarily. You might just have the power of a lion. You might be consulting with somebody that is older than you that um, embodies this type of energy. <coughs> But clarifying it is another card of family quarrels and disagreements, this time with the relatives. People are trying to stop you or your person from making a big move. Lots of control by family here, which I don't like at all. Too many cards. It's not your family's place to tell you anything about your relationships. If they're concerned, that's one thing. Give your opinion and let it 
fucking go. Let people live their life. Let people make their mistakes. Let people improve their situations. Like, who are you to dictate somebody's path? What if they need to make the wrong decision to find something out about themselves so that they can go, you know, everything's purposeful. Yes, we decide left and right, but at the end, we're going to all end up where we're supposed to end up. Believe that. We got the will of fortune in the upright, you see? And look, the ten of pentacles on the other side. A sign of good luck, good fortune in most endeavors. This is clarifying the power card right here. Okay, so this is just spirit saying push through. Push through this fucking negativity. Because good things are coming to you. Prosperity and healing. If you stand your ground collective and you don't act as though your, uh, your thoughts about this are unwavering, if you make it very, very clear that you're 10 toes down on your decision and that you don't give any fucks about what they think, guess what? Their attitude's going to totally change. You're going to change their view. They're going to have more respect for you and you're going to get the outcome that you want. Also, um, if you've been fighting any illnesses, that will be overcome. You have the nine of wands here again. Your hidden strengths will sustain against any opposition. And that's what I'm going to title this fucking video. Oh, I'm sorry. A long illness will be overcome. And I'm feeling like this is an illness of, um, not having the ability to see your strength inside. This is a mental illness that I feel that is being caught here. You have hidden strength collectively. And that is what is going to allow you to overcome all of this petty fucking bullshit. Because that's all it is. Petty fucking bullshit. Jealousy. Lies. Gossip. It's shit. Shit. Your hidden strength will sustain against any opposition. You will meet back up with an old friend. And you just might receive an unexpected visitor. Look out for number 555. That has been your read. Thank you for joining me today. Like and subscribe if you feel like you need to, have to, or would like to. I thank you in advance. Until next time. Much love.